Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be watching a video clip between Sadia Khan and Just Pearly Things. Let's get straight into this and let's see what is exactly happening. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on what is and has been said in this video clip. Just like when you're a woman of value, when you're a woman who gets men uh, treating her well, mm. you don't be, you're not screaming men are trash. You're not angry against mm. men. Uh, you don't have those attitudes because to you, men have always been good. Similarly, if you find men with high value, they don't experience these type of women who are running games on them, cheating on them, uh, talking out the side of their mouth to them. They don't experience are that. You, we can agree. NBA players get <laughs> right? Yeah. The number one reason they go broke is getting the wrong... Exactly. Yeah, because they choose badly. But if you're a, real, a man of high standards, you don't choose badly. The vetting process. Jeff, that, Jeff so, Bezos. Yeah, but it's the just, a high value like, man like, has okay, a good but vetting process. Take, that, <laughs> but, but then he's not high value. No, so, a high value oh, man has a. Just like he's you were saying. He's not high nice, value because he picked the wrong no, woman. No, but just like you were saying, nice girls don't can get with bad boys. Men of value can spot a thought from a mile off. And it's that simple. You can spot a thought. That's oh. one of your skills as a masculine man. Alpha men don't. Don't tolerate promiscuity. I, I think. I think. I they think don't have promiscuous women Paul, in their lives. The okay. Okay. Let's. You like, can what, spot a thought. A, okay. What is a thought? Uh, promiscuous, promiscuous. At what point? At what point? Uh, whatever. How many bodies? Level, by I'm nineteen. Muslim, by, so I've got a very different version. Zero like, bodies. Zero <laughs> minus figures. Is no, I mean <laughs> like nineteen fifties, forty yeah, standards. I, it's, is, it's like two. I've got a very different mm. standard because of my culture and my religion. So I can't really speak on other people. Mm -hmm. I really can't. Um, so, but what I would say is one of the definitions of an alpha man is you don't tolerate promiscuity and you vet women before they come into your world. Mm -hmm. You don't let any old riffraff in your house and if you do then you're not you're not high value just because mm. you got money and you got status that in itself is not enough you've mm. got to have levels to it and mm. the levels to it is you don't let any riffraff in I, your home I, I agree. Well, it just depends how you've been brought up but the way i've been brought up is similar to how her mindset is and that is there's no exception to it like you sleeping around with one person that's it like you're right off already as it is virginity is such a high importance in the Muslim community and in, in general in Islam, the way we look at it and how men in general and you know every single man if you ask them would want a virgin woman. Now it's the fact is that are they going to get that and receive it in the western world? They're never going to get that in the western world because everyone out here is doing whatever the hell they want and the majority of the women have been run through by a bag of man. So yeah, the reality is no, you're not going to get it. And even if you think and a lot of men in general are now just settling down with any woman that's been ran through by 100 men already so it's a mad thing as it is but in general the scope of how like people will see it as really extreme what she is saying about the fact that oh already one body count that's a mad thing right there as it is but in actuality and reality that's how in muslim countries that's how it will be seen and that's why women know and take specific care in that section because they know if they get ran through and sleep with one man and it flops as well that's it it's not going to be the same treatment as if there was a virgin so yeah shout out to her i like i like the stuff that she's saying good stuff out here and i do think men should have high standards yeah um where i disagree with you is i i think it's silly to say that you a girl can't trick a guy i think even if he's alpha even if he's high value even if he has this this and this can. so what i would say is if you have especially with these nba players mm -hmm. most of their women have like their bodies out on instagram and then this that and the other and then if you can't spot from that then you are not high value oh. what about like tom brady's wife uh giselle mm -hmm. uh, do Victoria's you think do you think she was a walking red flag I just think um, Victoria's Secret, well, it depends what you, uh, thing mm -hmm. is, again, like my values are a little bit <laughs> skewed because I'm Muslim, but the thing is, if your woman sells her body and that's her primary source of income, mm -hmm. she's going to have more liberal values. And when you bring a woman with liberal values into your home, you have to expect liberal outcomes. That's mm. all. So even Tom Brady, you're <laughs> dating a Victoria's Secret model mm -hmm. who makes her money out of her body. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you've got to recognize with that comes different types of values. And so, yeah. So do you think then he's not alpha? 
Yeah, you lose and your he's, What? He's no. Not, no. He's absolutely so you think Tom alpha. Brady is not high value? Any man who allows promiscuity and that kind of uh, uh, to mother his children, I don't believe is alpha because alpha men are so protective. They're so possessive. They don't even risk the idea of cuckoldry, the idea of their woman having potential. This is, if we're talking evolutionary mm -hmm. psychology mm -hmm. sense, the alpha man in the pack is my woman can never go with another man because I'm not wasting my money or my resources on somebody else's kid. Now, if you take that risk, in any way, shape, or form, you lose some of your alpha. Minimizing the fact that we live in a different society. So women in the Western society have a different mindset than yeah. mm. women elsewhere. Yeah. So what you're saying would work in so many other places in the world, yeah. but it wouldn't work in the West. Yeah, mm. maybe because I'm from Pakistan. This is what I'm saying all the time. There's a simple solution to this, and that's go to those countries where the women understand the consequences of doing these silly stuff that these women are doing in the Western countries. Being promiscuous doing whatever the hell they want getting ran through by a bag or man and that these are the type of women that you do not want to marry you never want to get involved with them matter of fact you don't even want to give them time with day that's how it should be because it's a waste of time because they're getting passed around by the whole block and do you want to be that guy that takes that and then be the laughing stock because everyone else knows all the other men them know that she's been ran through by all of them and then you're the one that's devoting all your money resources into her looking like some joke man you should be able to tell what girl is going to be for the streets and what girl is actually going to be worthy to be in the home and it's unfortunate but because there's a lot of broken dynamics in today's society in the western world particularly that a lot of men are not growing up understanding this because they have only the mums and the mum is just doing madness to the dad so you know they can't even see the dad or you know the dad's not even in the scene all sorts of madness happening out here that is contributing to the situation and have one body count you're right off you're mm. just a write off and it's that and any man that does go with you he's then seen in a lower way so maybe my mentality is obviously skewed from that but i can but still think it applies that's fact and that's how it has been in islamic countries like women that have slept with one person and if it's our marriage as well it's already a write-off and people might think that is extreme but that's just how it's been and i totally agree with it because at the end of the day right you have to understand once someone's and if it's not with a valid reason if it's not that that person was married before and then they went through a divorce kind of situation then it's not a valid reason for why that woman was out here and doing whatever the hell she wants with other men if it's outside of marriage and that's how strict we look at it in an Islamic perspective that you shouldn't be doing it, you shouldn't even be indulging yourself in any of this because it's all haram at the end of the day. And so that's why we look at it in that way that people in the Western world or other people that just, you know, will find this extreme, but to, for us it's not extreme. For us it's guidelines and it saves us from all of this nonsense. And if you want to be respected by men and stuff like that, then the way that it works and especially in third world muslim countries is the fact that women will be especially the mom and the parents and that will be shaping her literally creating her to be the best product for that man because they understand that cooking cleaning submissiveness all of these factors is what the man is going to want and nowadays in the western world you're not getting that from these women you're going to get a ran through woman that has a bag of baggages from and a bag of past and history and that's what you're going to be dealing with if you decide to get yourself involved with women in this in the western countries america uk any western countries you know um it's it's doomed out here when it comes to relationships and most men that are in these relationships are suffering deep down because they just realize that they messed up getting involved with these and some men don't understand that because some men are so bait it down to the point they don't even understand that they move like women out here so they would disagree and then you've got those men that are serious g's out here that understand quickly part of masculinity isn't just money and appearance it's that's also a, protectiveness that's, that's over a, your women that hips yeah, are very I, masculine. i'll tell you why i'll tell you why i'll masculine. explain to you why. But, but like you're looking at it from like men can lose their alpha absolutely like, but, because that, but that's but that's at a different like like women are you're looking at it from a woman's point of view because yeah. women have value and they lose it if, if if a man is in the top two percent of men, one percent of men, I, I don't think Drake loses his alpha because he's a lot of. Your man's not going to feel high status and important if you've had a whole bunch of sexual partners because you're promiscuous. So obviously that's a down. So that's no. Maybe in your culture, yeah. you personally, but I don't think most girls are going to have any issue dating Drake because 
He had a, a baby with a corn star. No, but with evolutionary psychology, which is the, defines mm -hmm. the whole of the time, part of masculinity is providing and protecting. Protecting means protecting her from other men. That's mm -hmm. what protecting means in mm -hmm. masculine terms. Mm -hmm. And when you have a promiscuous woman, that means you either she's promiscuous before or after you, whatever it is, that protection element isn't there enough. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean by that. Because if you cannot be a masculine man without that protective quality, mm -hmm. you can't on. A man that doesn't protect women is not masculine. Now, part of that protection is making sure no other man can access that woman because mm -hmm. that's my womb. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. That's my oven. Now, if you don't have, if you don't exercise with that mentality, you lose your masculinity. It's how human nature is defined let's take my religion out of it if we're talking about men living in prehistoric evolutionary times let's take even before that He's protecting all the let's say for example <laughs> we live in a jungle society and you need to make sure that you're getting resources for your kids and only yeah. your kids uh -huh. if you got a woman that's doing the most you could be feeding kids that aren't yours your survival is reduced yeah but they're, they're, they're biologically predispositioned to spread their seed to everybody but not to, to look after everybody else's kid I mean, they don't want to look after any kid yeah. yeah so that's why you don't choose a promiscuous I, woman I don't think they should choose a promiscuous woman yeah. what I'm arguing with you is you say because someone cho chooses the wrong woman not they're alpha. not alpha yeah absolutely Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. A truly strong and a man that's been raised to be a lion, raised to run things that he would never allow or be content or happy with his woman being shared or having a pass or doing stupid things that's going to make him look like a joke thing. And two, right, it's embarrassing to be with someone that has a past like that. It makes you look bad as a man. And the whole purpose of a real man is the duty is what to be a provider and protector now protecting doesn't mean that someone just knocks on the door and then you're going to be going downstairs to see what's happening and stuff like that protecting means protecting from every other man out there that's trying to move to or trying to do all sorts of nonsense you see what i'm trying to say protecting because that's that man's you see what i'm trying to that's his why the hell is he going to be sitting here or calm like his happy days out here when someone is trying to come at his woman do you see what i'm trying to say now that's a true alpha man a man that knows and will never that's the type of man that gets the respect from the woman because he takes ownership and he is principled in that manner and that's it like so he's never going to be content or happy with a woman having a past or doing any sorts of stupidness online etc etc because it's all going to be a reflection on him whatever your woman is doing as a man right is a reflection on you so the whole pro the whole point of vetting them right is to make sure that they never get or never do stupidness because they've already been vetted to the point of how be a housewife you know submissiveness catering to what they need to do as a woman the traditional lifestyle not none of this modern bollocks that's my thoughts on this let me know what you guys think and until the next one it's your host rubel zaman make sure you guys like comment subscribe let's keep pushing and comment down what kind of things that you want me to review next or if you have a specific topic etc then let me know it will be valuable for me because then i can just give my response to it i enjoy doing these kind of videos and yeah pretty much until then Make sure you guys look after yourself, stay focused and peace.